Hello, my name is Orange. Came up from home today. I said before that a friend was coming over. Who brought a chicken from home? Make a killin' chicken for him to taste. Also bought a few shrimp. Beef ribs are really affordable now. Lots of meat. Only 28 catties. This piece that looks like a rag is a hairy belly. Ugly but tastes good. It's delicious no matter what. Bought a little snail. Ask the boss to give some water. Keep rabbit sand. And a little squid and a little shrimp. Eat more during Chinese New Year. Soak some kelp and mix it with a sour and spicy solution. During the holidays, I pretend that my mother raised chickens every day to raise children. I don't like to eat white cuts now. Ask for fragrant every time. Raised chickens. This is cut mortar. It tastes super fragrant. Then wrap the salt to remove the chicken powder. Add an appropriate amount of light soy sauce and peanut oil to spread it inside and out. Marinate for at least two hours. Have time. Word. You can marinate it for a while longer to make it more tasty. This chicken is bigger today. Tin foil wrapped in several layers. Bake a little longer. I bake at 220 degrees for an hour. Mix the kelp. I have blanched this kelp. Prepare a little garlic chili powder and millet spicy. Drizzle some hot oil. Ginger soy sauce. Oyster sauce salt sugar. If you like self food, you can put more vinegar. More chili oil and sesame oil. Sprinkle a little chicken powder. I don't think it's spicy enough. So I cut some green peppers and threw them in. Mix well and pour on top of kelp. This hot and sour kelp knot is really suitable for Chinese New Year and festivals. Crunchy, sour and spicy. Very relieving and appetizing. That is, after baking, uncover the tin foil and bake for another 10 minutes. Burnt skin is more fragrant. Friends say their chicken is so fragrant. Could it be that he only needs more than 300 yuans to come and play, which is already very cheap? But after using the second baby's roll bag, it only cost 20 bucks. Zhao King Glong fresh dried enoki mushrooms, directly steamed. Ah, bring the water to a boil and steam it for about 15 minutes before it comes out of the pot. This little green dragon is full of meat. If you eat too much other meat, you will get bored easily. But seafood is really not tired of eating it every day. Simple. Make another seafood bun and cook it in one pot. Shrimp head I let it flow. Heat the oil, put it in, fry it until fragrant. Then add some shredded ginger and fry it twice. Add an appropriate amount of water into it. Cook for about 5 minutes. Then, take out the shrimp heads and add some salt. Light soy sauce oyster sauce pepper to taste. After boiling. What? Pour it into a seafood bun. Cover and cook for 10 minutes. This seafood is easy to cook. Then, sprinkle with scallions. Very delicious seafood buns are done. I cut a little ginger, garlic, millet peppers and pickled peppers here. After the oil is hot, pour it in and have a spoonful of bean paste. Add some salt after frying the red oil. Oyster sauce, soy sauce and chicken powder. The hairy belly can't be fried for too long. So I adjusted my stomach first. Then, 
Pour the hairy belly in. Stir fry quickly, on fire for a while. Then, put a handful of cilantro and fry it a few more times before it comes out of the pot. This hairy belly can't be fried for too long. If you fry it for too long, it won't taste crispy. Sour and spicy stir-fried hairy belly is especially appetizing. It's all done, and you're ready to eat.